Well, I was helping them um, display the poles at the Big One show at Stonely a few weeks ago, and uh, easily the star of the show had to be this, the MTX3. And um, everyone's asking about it. I've used it a number of times. It's a fantastic pole. And I thought the perfect place to demonstrate it today, nice windy day. We're in Bedford, we're at Howe End Fishery on Yaz's Lake. There's carp in here, there's barbel, there's big eyed, bit of everything in here. And it's nice and windy too, so we can really pull it through its paces with some decent fish, hopefully. So uh, hopefully I can catch a few fish for you and show you how good this MTX3 pole really is. Well, this is a perfect venue. It's, it's 30 metres wide and um, I'm kicking off straight across, a couple of feet short of the far bank, so I'm about halfway along my 13 metre section. And just kicking off with pellets and corn, trying to catch an early carp or two. Um, but I've got the option of going further to my left. It's really windy, but as you can see, the pole is cutting through the wind really nicely. I mean, at 13 metres especially, I think there's next to no difference between this and my top of the range MTX4. And even at 14 and a half, it's a fantastic pole. Now, it does come as 16 metres as a standard. Um, at this venue, it's a 14 and a half metre pole limit. See, that's a nice big gust of wind, but my poles, my float somehow is still in position. So, uh, um, but yeah, it's a 14 and a half metre pole limit on this lake, on Yazis, um, which is ideal for today and ideal for most anglers. It's only sort of um, cutthroat match anglers like myself that end up fishing at 16 metres all the time. So, um, but at 13, 14 and a half metres, you're struggling to get a better pole for this for the money. Um, but I'm going to kick off just short of the far bank here with pellets. I've got, I've plumbed up a few soons further down so I can fish right at the full extent of the 30 metre pole and even 14 and a half to a point of the island as well. And at all lengths, it's just a dream to use, to be honest. Well, this is our second fish, a decent carp on a six mil expander. Nice to be fishing six mil expanders now. Now it's warming up a little bit. And uh, luckily it's not doing a lot. It feels a good fish though. So I can come straight back to my top kit. I'm fishing 10 to 12 slick, which is ideal for a fish of all sizes today. And uh, this is in one of the match kits, but I've also got a power kit set up for my margin rig trying to climb the far bank at the moment, this fish. But as you can see, I've, I'm using the Revolve side pull system, which comes as standard with these poles. And it's got a roller wheel actually built in, which makes the elastic move or flow absolutely effortlessly. And it'll prolong the, length, the life of your elastic as well because it's not wearing at all. It's a good fish. Should have got my, my landing net ready, really, instead of waffling on. It's kicking a bit. Where is a good fish? Come on. Yeah, scooped him first go. Nice common. Not as big as the first one, but very welcome. And they fight really hard in this venue because they've got aerators on a lot all, every night. So they fight extremely well. Very well oxygenate, oxygenated venue. There they are. Nice fish. See him putting his dorsal fin up for us. And this MTX3 is absolutely perfect for fish like this. Pop him in the landing net, in the keep net. Well, I'm on the two plus two line now. Been feeding maggots from the off. Um, a lot heavily, uh, a lot more heavily than I normally would, um, purely because I know there's a lot of silverfish in this venue, and to attract the quality, you've almost got to get through those fish. So I'm actually fishing three maggots, which is a lot for me, um, and I'm a mixture of um, fishing with a medium toss spot of maggots for just to concentrate the feed a bit, and also throwing quite heavily as well. It's it's quite refreshing to be able to feed this much bait at this time of year. Um, everywhere else I've been going, just throwing in six or eight maggots 
and that's felt a lot. But here, I know there's a lot of tiny silvers and you've got to get through those to get to those quality fish underneath. So I'm just fishing a, about two or three inches over depth. I might have to go a little bit more because of the wind and two or three maggots and just trying to sort out some better quality silvers. But there's lots of silver, I already had some roach and, and a couple of hybrids and things. So hopefully I can get some of those eyed and maybe even a barbel or two. That's a better one. And uh, oh, a nice big, big roach, I think. We'll net him. So uh, I don't mind catching fish like this. They're lovely fish. Let's just spat the hook out. Lovely silvers. Yeah, his dorsal's going up as well. But um, there's some lovely big eyed in here as well. Um, two pound or more at times. So uh, we'll keep uh, soldiering on and see if we can get amongst some of those. So I'm going to feed. I'm going to feed twice, and I'm actually going to pot some again. Probably 30 maggots in there as well. Um, I'm using what's it about about four foot, four and a half foot. So I'm using a rig about 0.4 gram, and it's quite heavily bulked down because I know there's a lot of tiny silvers up in the water that will be intercepting on the drop. So I might even just have a bulk in a minute if I do keep catching lots of little silvers. Just trying to get it as positive as possible and get to the bottom where those bigger fish will hopefully be. And I'm using a 16 hook, um, 010. It's a prototype matrix hook, which hopefully you'll be out later on this year. Um, nice, fine PTFE coated hook, really sharp. And a 010 hook length, and I'm using 8 to 10 slick as well. We should deal with everything on a hook at this sort of range. It's great for anything from like a couple of ounces and up to I've had 10 pound fish out on 8 to 10 slick but it's a good all-round elastic this time of year if you're not quite sure what you're going to be hooking next so I'm missing a few bites but um, it's all about persevering and just keep the bait going in and uh, those bigger fish will definitely arrive soon Well, it's been really hard to get through to these quality silvers, but I think I've just uh, cracked it. I've been feeding heavily with maggots, uh, double throwing or throwing twice at a time each ship in, but I've actually been putting three dead maggots on the hook, and that seems to be better than putting uh, live maggots on. And uh, it's already produced a few quality fish just with three dead maggots, maybe even four, um, rather than three wriggling ones. And that's what that bream just had. So, uh, but I've been feeding twice quite heavily when the wind allows. And then the other thing is I've bulked my shot really low down now on my rig and I'm lowering it down, sort of bombing it straight down. Don't lay it in sideways because you're more likely to catch small fish on the drop. So try and bomb it down as fast as you can and bypass all the smaller fish to those better fish on the bottom. Well, we've been having plenty of silvers on that short line, but I'm itching to catch some better fish again. So um, I'm going to have a look down the edge. I've fed it a few times just with some micras and a bit of corn. And um, it's a good four foot down the side. So I'm fishing a 0.4 gram float. I've got 12 to 14 slick on and a decent size 16 hook and a 014 hook length. And I'm going to fish either corn or a six mil expander down there. I'm going to start on an expander and uh, as you can see, it's a lovely sunny day. So I've got my hood up because it's absolutely raining now. And uh, I'm going to feed reasonably generously because the fish are waking up and, and there's a lot of silver fish that will be eating those micro pellets and stuff as well. So uh, I've been going in with sort of palmfuls of bait every half an hour. So it's primed. And I'm just going to fish on the join between me 11 and 13 metre section of my pole, which is ideal length down this edge. I 
Well, that's my first look down the side. We're going to expand. I had to wait a little bit, but I had a little tremble and uh, the tiniest of bites I've lifted and I've got this on. So uh, it's a good sign. What is it? A little carp, I think. It's a good sign to be catching down the side so early. It's a good four foot down there, so I couldn't get into any shallower water. Three foot would have been nicer. But, oh yeah, lovely little carp. Again, expander. I might try corn a bit more if it starts blowing a bit more. Woo, perfectly hooked. Cracker. I'm going to go out with an expander again, fill the uh, toss pot with a decent amount of micros. And I caught that one, um, I'm using the uh, power kits down the side, and I've got 12 to 14 slick in that. And these are actually my own, my own kits off my, my other pole, so um, it's important to say that all the top kits from the MTX family interchange, um, from the 1, 2, 3, 4, even the... Um, the 11 meter and 8.7 8 meter margin poles, they all interchange and you've got a choice of five top kits. Now you get the uh, Power Kit Ultra 1 and the Match Kit Ultra 1 with the MTX3 and then you get the uh, Match Kit 2 and the Power Kit 2 with the MTX 1 and 2 but they all interchange and you can also get some finesse kits which are rated to a 10 elastic which don't have the side pull system if you're into your silverfish fishing. So you've got a real array of um, kits that all fit this pole and you've also got the short kits as well so uh, loads of versatility there is that exactly what you need really Well, I think that's the perfect fish to end on. A lovely, lovely barbel. And I've had that down the edge on, a, on an expander pellet, so it shows that even barbel eat pellets on a venue like this. And uh, it's part of the reason why I came to this venue, because special fish like this are uh, swimming around very, very happily. So uh, I think that's the perfect way to end. Hopefully I've shown you just how good that MTX3 pole is. And it's perfect for a real mixed bag of fish, whether it's little roach or big carp or nice barbel like this. 